I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, author of the book, Freedom from Suffering, A Journey of Hope, and someone living with my own chronic pain for the past 30 years. Today, I'm very excited to be sharing with you a strategic seven-step pain journaling process that I've been using myself and with my patients for the past 29 years. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a dedicated pain journal that's used only for this purpose. Then make a commitment that two to three times a day you're going to record in this pain journal. Here's the steps you need to follow. Step number one, write down the type of pain you're experiencing and how bad it is. In other words, you want to use the words like, to, right now I'm feeling aching and throbbing in my head. How bad is the pain on a 1 to 10 scale, with 1 being barely noticeable and 10 being really the worst ever? Mine's right now at about a 4 to a 5. Then the next step is what are my levels of stress using a 1 to 10 scale? On this scale, levels 1, 2, and 3 is what I call the relaxation zone. This is where we're not focused, we're laid back, we're nearly asleep sometimes. 4 and 5 is the go zone. This is where my stress levels are energizing me to help me focus and be active. At level 6, I'm still able to be active and focus, but it's taking more effort. This is where I need to catch it. Because at level 7, something bad happens in my brain. I have a stress reaction that changes how the brain produces chemicals, survival chemicals. At level 7, I lose focus. At level 8, I might get irritated and agitated, and if I hit level 9, I'm going to act out on that irritation and agitation. At level 10, it's meltdown. So you record your level of stress and why you rated it that way. Then the third step is what did you do to manage your pain and to manage your stress? Did you take medication? Did you stretch? Did you exercise? Did you use heat or ice, yoga, tai chi? What did you do? How well did it work on a zero to 10? Not at all at the zero, 10 total relief. The next step, the fourth step is so important. This is where you take a look and see what were some possible triggers, especially when you have a pain flare up. What were you doing physically? What was going on psychologically, emotionally? What was going on environmentally around you th that was stressful? And just jot those triggers down. This can become crucial. Then the fifth step is to identify the negative or self-defeating self-talk. What were you saying to yourself in your head that was more of a problem and not a solution? like, oh, this sucks, I can't handle this, this is horrible, awful, terrible. Those are self-defeating. I gotta take something right now. That's addictive. Step number six is what was going on emotionally as the result of that type of thinking? Was I feeling sad? Was I feeling scared? Was I feeling anxious? What were the feelings you experienced when you were in the pain? And then finally, the seventh step is what am I learning about my pain right now and what can I be doing differently, especially the last entry of the day in the evening preferably. Look back over your day. What's the most important thing I learned about pain and pain management? And what's one thing I can commit to do differently tomorrow in order to manage my pain more effectively and achieve freedom from suffering? I believe that freedom from suffering is everyone's right but it's also your responsibility. So be responsible. Use this tool for the next two weeks. If it doesn't work, I'll gladly refund your suffering. Thank you.